83 to 80. Cebu by three. 30 seconds to go. Should Cebu hang on to win, they will end up with a four and four card, while Manila will drop to five and four. However, should that be reversed, Manila will move to six and three, and that will be temporary, or just six and three, that is. We're speaking too soon, but that will work for Padilla. Well, they've got to go for a quick two, they don't have to go for a three. What they've got to do is, Waste time dribbling. You gotta yes. pass the ball, drive, attack the basket. Aduko has that in mind, yeah. scores. They have Manila no more time. Let's keep that in mind. And a foul. Uh, AC Brown, Brown will get his fifth. Now, Tonichi Ituri is trying to hold back, not to coach too much, hoping that his players' poise will just gush forth here. There's a tendency sometimes to try to voice operate the final moments, and the players just tense up. Tama yung set. Kumisa na kaka gulup eh. Kaya pinababayan na lang yun. Three wheeling. Alam na. Sabi niya bahala na. This is You know what to do. And okay. Padilla delivering some key free throws. Boy, this guy certainly has delivered the most important three free throws of the game. The cushion that could provide Cebu the winning margin. Four-point game, 19 seconds remaining. The Mape in three-point land, but they're thinking Compton. Compton is fouled in the two-point area. Just a two-point area foul. He'll go to the go to the line for a pair. The foul on Padilla, his third clock at 8.2. Still far from over yes, here. Yes, certainly. He might even go for a 3-3, you know, dial in it. I'm saying this on referee, take two. Eh? They'll do the 3-3. They will. If Compton makes this, expect them to go to, and they try to intercept the ball. If they can't, whoever gets the ball right away, whoever is the first recipient of the ball, they got to foul right away. Now think of Cebu using a timeout should they get possession here. They're signaling each other that they want to do exactly that. But first, Compton will have to make this basket. He doesn't. Rebound Mitchell. They were thinking of a timeout, but now it won't be so. And it looks like Cebu will go to two straight wins on the road. A big win for Cebu. And Manila with its second straight loss at home. 86 to 82 is the final count. It looks like the winning break came from the free throw line. Exactly. As you said earlier, we didn't have enough time because we didn't know if we were going to go to this game. Oops, and we have some unfortunate bottle-throwing incidents here. And um, let's hope it does not prosper. In the meantime, Tunichi Turi is trying to stand in the middle of it all. Okay, the best players of our game are Matt Mitchell and Stephen Padilla, Senator. Well, Matt Mitchell primarily because of uh, those shots that he made, particularly on the stretch where they tried to catch up. But Padilla is the main man, really. Yes. He's really the one who's been and he's the one who's made four free throws that he's given to them four free throws. I don't think we'll be able to talk to those players. Something's happening on the floor right now. Exactly. Let's go to our Milo Best play. In the meantime, let's check out this FedEx fast break. Ang ganda ng pag-iwas. Okay, Danny, it looks like we will have back-to-back time. Let's uh, show all our messages what we have left after this, uh, during this break. When we're on the seas for the NBA ABS CBN coverage team, we ride to official lines, our official carrier vessel here at the NBA. Ninety two to eighty eight is our count here. Iloilo with a crucial offensive set. 
They've got to score here, Sam. Villamil is tied up. Dominic Oh, he's suddenly gun shy, Danny. And this might be a costly turnover for the Mega Vaults. I was just about to say that they they needed that offensive set to score the you point. You said exactly that, that you're absolutely correct. The mood of the ball game has changed substantially. And if you notice, it changed for Iloilo nung tinanggal si Gatumbato at saka si Joey Mente. Yes. Now, legal defense against Iloilo. There was a double team on Longalong and no, Longalong did not have the ball. So Compton will shoot the technical free throw and can stretch this lead to five points. We can only speculate. I think uh, Danny Gavieras wanted to have his more experienced players yes. on the floor. That's why they pulled out Getum he pulled out Getumbato as well as uh, Mente. And not only that, um, it would be a crucial decision on his part, considering that Dale Singson had already missed three, four shots. No, at um, maribang balik niya si Getumbato para tapusin yung laro. He needs some renewed energy uh -huh. going into the stretch. Suddenly, in the stupor that Iloilo has been experiencing of late has seemed to seep back in. A stupor, a stigma, call it what you want. 93-88, two minutes and four to play. We're in the FedEx two-minute zone. Presented by FedEx, where we live to deliver. Here's Steele. That will pop out. And a chance to recycle the clock. But no, it'll go Iloilo's way. You know, it looked like there was a holding foul on Dale Singson off that steal. But it was a good thing that the ball was turned over by...